Hello everyone! Today the Smarklin Z scale starter set arrived in the post. It's a warehouse deal, so the packaging has already been opened before. The set consists of a freight train, tracks, a ramp to place the wagons on the tracks and a controller. The locomotive and wagons are in scale 1 to 220, so very, very small. The locomotive weighs only 20 grams, one wagon weighs 6 grams and the other 8 grams. The tracks are of course also very small and not easy to assemble, but once they are put together they stick together well. The level of detail is amazingly good for such a small model. So let's test it now. The motor is very quiet and the sound is not of a high frequency, despite its small size. And the buildings you see here were not part of the set. I made these with styrene board, glue and paint. The tracks are very light, so you need to have a nice smooth surface or fix the tracks well. Otherwise they will start to move, as you can see here. The train often does not want to start and needs a push. I can imagine that those small wheels quickly get dirty and then lose contact. Upon closer inspection, the rails turned out to be fairly greasy. After cleaning them, the train runs a lot smoother. When I think of Z-gauge, I always think of the large hook couplings. Indeed, the couplers are very large. Still, it's not too bad for me. I actually thought they would be even more monstrous. Manual coupling is easy, but coupling the wagons when pushed does not always work. I will let you enjoy the starter set for a while, then I will list the pros and cons. Okay, what do we think of this set now? 
you get a detailed train for the catalog price of 170 euros. The couplings are large, but it does not disturb, although that may be a matter of taste of course. The locomotive runs reasonably well, but the tracks and wheels must be very clean. All in all, this is a nice set for those who have little space. As always, thanks for watching, see you next time, bye bye.